Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how do you actually calculate percentile in Power BI. Now, Power BI has uh, an inbuilt function, a percentile that can actually calculate 50th or the 80th or whatever percentile value of a given set of numbers. But we are actually trying to do something different here. We're trying to find out what is the percentile value of a given set of number in a set of numbers, in a set of values that I have. So let's just take a look at an example and hopefully you'll understand it better. So here I have a very simple data set. I have the ID number, which is the unique ID of the employee, the first name, the last name, the occupation, and the salary of that particular employee. And using this little table that I have, I have created a very simple pivot table right here. The first column of that table is the occupation. We have the ID number and we have the salary of the employee mentioned right here. Let me ask you a question. If I take a look at that ID number 87, which is for the teacher, what is the percentile value of uh, this particular person, her salary, which is $171,000 approximately in the entire set of teachers that I have? That means what's the percentile value of this particular number over all these numbers that we have in teachers? That is not possible using the standard given functions in Power BI. And we're gonna write our custom DAX formula for that. All right, to solve this, it's a very simple math problem. All that I need is two numbers. The first number that I need is how many people are below this particular salary level in the entire group of teachers? That is going to be my numerator. And the denominator is how many teachers are there in this particular segment right here. So just the count of all of these values. If I get these two numbers, the number of values which are below her particular salary, and the total number of teachers there are, I can easily find the percentile value. And to do that, I have written a very simple DAX function here, and let's just take a look at the function. So I have this occupation percentile right here. Let's just take a look at that. Now in this function, I actually want you to focus on the divide function first, and the numerator and the denominator part. Rest are actually just the fillers here. So take a look, I'm using the divide function here, and in the divide function, I'm first of all calculating the numerator. In the numerator, first of all, I'm saying, hey, why don't you count the number of rows there are in my data but before you count the number of rows I actually want to apply two filters on this data the first filter that I want to apply is the occupation filter that means only count the number of rows of a particular occupation which is currently as per the filter context the teacher occupation all right so that goes in the all except function then for all the teachers there are I actually want to check that how many teachers are below the current level of salary. So I'm just gonna say, hey, why don't you go in every single row of the particular occupation table that I have. And in that table, why don't you see that how many salaries are below the total salary? Now that total salary is fixed as a variable right here on the top, because if I kind of write that total salary right here, it's gonna change the filter context and every salary will be lesser than equal to the current salary. So that's something that I declare it as a variable outside. And then I bring that variable because that variable will not change once it's declared. And I get that variable right here. And I try to compare that, okay, how many salaries are lesser for the occupation of teachers once these two filters are applied, then you count the number of rows. All right, that gives me my numerator. And for the denominator, I simply count the number of rows for the particular occupation. There is no other filter. So apply only one filter, which is the filter of the occupation, and then you count the number of rows. And this gives me my numerator. This gives me my denominator. There could also be a possibility that the numerator is zero. In that case, I have used a colace function, which is maybe the smart way of using if function. And I'm saying that, hey, if this divide actually gives you a zero, then you just write a zero percentile, right? And this entire calculation is just going to happen wherever you have the employee ID. So if I have the employee ID, then you do the calculation. But if I'm working at the total level, I don't want to calculate the percentile. And that's about it. I just drag that right into my pivot table and you can see that I have percentile values for all the teachers right here. Now this is the percentile value of this particular teacher over all her peers in that group. Now you may also want to find the rank of this teacher that okay as per the percentile what rank does she have right. So I have also calculated the percentile rank which is nothing but uh, I have this number which is 62.5 as a percentile value. What's the rank of this over all of these percentile, which is very simple, just a rank X function. So I'm just going to show you that. So again, I want to do the calculation wherever I have a single employee ID, not at the total level. And all I'm doing is, hey, why don't you just apply one particular filter, just get all the occupations, which is all the teachers. And then you just find the occupation percentile rank 
and it's a very simple rank x function all right now somebody can say that hey why don't you find out the percentile of this particular teacher in the entire set of data that means i want to compare her with the salesman the accountants and whatever data sets that i have i want to compare her as a percentile value in the entire data so sure enough i can just actually show you that formula as well so again let's just focus on the numerator and the denominator in the numerator all that i'm saying is that remove any kind of filters that are on the data so i don't even want to keep the filter of the occupation hence i use the all function that means remove all the filters once i remove all the filters then i compare the individual salary which is the salary value should actually be lesser than the individual salary of each and every person there is in that particular data set once i get that i get the numerator and i count the number of rows here once i count the number of rows then i divide it by the entire data set that means how many rows are there in the entire data so i apply the all function and count the number of rows there are that gives me the numerator that gives me the denominator that's it i mean the rest is absolutely the same i actually drag that particular function in the matrix here and that gives me the overall percentile in that particular data set that i have and just like before i have also calculated the rank of both of these so occupation percentile rank and overall percentile rank and i can also drag those two functions right here in the matrix visualization and you can just take a look at that as well this is the same function using the rank x i'm just actually calculating the overall and the occupation percentile rank all right so that's how percentile is calculated in power bi hit me up in the comments if you have any questions and before i forget if you would like to learn dax right from scratch like right from step by step giving you instructions all the way along to make you a more sophisticated and advanced user of DAX so that you're able to solve practical problems. I highly suggest that you take a look at my DAX course. The link for that, I'm just going to put it up in the description and you can take a look at that. That course is actually going to help you learn DAX right from scratch and come up to a level where you start solving more sophisticated problems using Power BI and DAX. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll be glad to help. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.